Hey guys, it's Monday. So it's time to get this one done. So when we left off on Friday, I had just cut this thing out and it's all kind of jagged and stuff here. But if you look, if you look close in this area, it's kind of smooth. What I decided to do, what I had said on Friday's video, is I was going to use the um, my spindle sander and, and kind of the micro zip. And I still may use that a little bit, but I didn't even think about it. What I want to do now is actually use that same cutter, the spiral upcut bit, and I can smooth that out by hand um, with my router. But I have to get at this angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I don't even think I need my cheaters for this. It's going to be pretty self-explanatory. I'm not that, sure. Turn that base, yeah. Is that going to is that going to work for you? I'm going to try. Yeah, mm -hmm. we might have to change the camera camera angle. That's and true. this will be loud, but I don't think it'll be quite as loud as when I'm cutting full cuz all I'm really doing is trimming. So, let's give this a try. It's kind of a weird angle for me, but we got to we're paying the price for you guys. <laughs> Here we go. See how that kind of smooths that up? That's still a little bumpy in there, so I'll go back and, and touch that up. But basically, um, you know me, I use a router for everything I can possibly use a router for. So I'm going to go ahead and use the router the rest of the way and uh, smooth up as much of that roughness. As a matter of fact, let's see, let me pick another spot. I'll do another spot right here, um, and you can Turn see. Huh? Turn it, yeah. That way? Mm -hmm. That worked? All right, let's do. Let's try a little. Now, the one thing that you'll notice is when you watch that other cut, is I'm keeping my arm on the sign, and it's not moving very much anyway. But um, I don't have any adhesive on the back of it, uh, holding it down. Um, so um, anyway, I'm kind of holding it in place with my left arm here. So, <clears throat> the other thing I want to talk about here, guys, is remember, this is, uh, unless you're really uh, used to using this, look how far that thing's sticking out there. Um, safety, safety is always first. So, everything okay? Oh, I thought I was doing something wrong. Um, safety is always first. So, unless you're really comfortable with this, and again, I've been doing it pretty much all my life, so I'm very comfortable with it. But unless you are very comfortable with it, this thing will really, um, it, it could get caught in clothes. It could, you know, it really is kind of dangerous if you're not used to it. Any power tool is, but when you've got a cutter sticking out of that router bit, out of that base, that far, you really, really want to be careful. So if you're more comfortable using a spindle sander or a scroll saw or a you know, um, a saber saw or whatever, if you're more comfortable with that, stick with it. This is just me. I wanted you guys to see what I'm comfortable with and what I like, and, uh, and it works really well for me. So anyway, I'm going to finish this up off camera, and then we'll come back, and we'll get this thing sprayed, sanded off, and we'll get into the finishing. All right, folks, so here's what I had to do. Since I want all of this back in here to be wood color, I needed to mask it off because I still want these black lines in those leaves and I want the edge black all the way around. So what I did was I literally 
just masked off everything on the inside so that uh, once I sand it off, it'll all be wood color in there. I'm going to use the primer because um, <clears throat> I'm not really not spraying it that much, but we're just going to spray it all the way around. Now, I did put a slight chamfer on the back. Just broke the edge a little bit with a chamfer. So I'm going to just spray this thing all the way around and then spray those uh, spray those lines that I want to be black. Anyway, you guys don't need to watch all of this. When I come back, I'll uh, I'll have all that I'll have all this spray. Wait for it to dry, then take that masking tape off there. Then we'll sand it off and see what it looks like. Oh, there goes my paper. So we'll be back in a sec. All right, let's sand it off. See what it looks like. Ready? Cool. I like it. So this is all going to remain wood color back here. We're going to paint this. We're going to paint the leaves. And then we're going to paint, uh, paint this a specific color too. Anyway, so that will be... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a clear on this thing. You guys don't need to see that. You've seen me do that before. And then we're going to come back and we're going to paint it. Hey guys, we're back. Alright, so I got this thing all finished. Um, I got uh, three or four coats of the the Krylon on there and it this is just uh, interior sign so I use the Krylon, Krylon again I like gloss some people like matte or, or satin finish I like the gloss um, but one thing I did want to show you is that I discovered when I'm sanding it off if you look in this area and a little bit here and here and mostly on the leaves that's really where it happened if you look real close you'll see what I call like a five o'clock shadow kind of look. That's a type of bleeding. That's not a bleeding like going straight into the grain from the carving, but it's still kind of a bleeding. Now for me, it's not going to be a big deal on this because I'm going to paint those anyway. And I don't have any signs of that going on in here. Um, so it, it just gives you an idea that, and I'm not sure, maybe I forgot to put sanding sealer on this. I'm not really sure. But normally, this is an indication either that I didn't put sanding sealer or I, or I sprayed it too heavy. So even me, I'm still making mistakes, still learning. But that's this kind of stuff that most people would never complain about it or notice it. I notice it, and I don't like it. But fortunately, I'm going to be painting that anyway. So just wanted to get that out of the way. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> We've got these acrylic paints. And I am going to literally try and match up the color scheme, since it's kind of fall colors. I'm going to try and match up this color scheme as best I can with these acrylic paints. And these are water-based, so I'm going to have to do some mixing on some stuff. But as, uh, the first thing that I'm going to paint here is the, um, is the sew. 
And that's a pretty, that's a pretty close match. It's close enough for me. So I'm not even going to try and, and uh, mix that with anything. Now, um, the other thing is that I want to put my cheaters on because I want to have better eyesight than what I've got, just my glasses. So I'm gonna put, uh, I think they're down here somewhere. Um, what was I going to say? Gosh darn it, I had a thought in my mind. Now it's gone. Um, oh yeah, the finish. So a lot of people, now because I put the finish on, people ask, why do I put the finish on first? I don't always, but in this particular case, I wanted to put the finish on because I was using the acrylics. One of the reasons is because I was using the acrylics and I didn't want, um, I want to try and be able to get by with just one coat. And um, the acrylics might soak into the, to the board more if it didn't have a finish on it already. So that's kind of my thinking behind that. Now if I need to put a second coat, I absolutely will. But I knew that the chances of having to put a second coat um, with having a finish on first would be a lot less likely. Now the other thing is that a finish sometimes will change the colors that you're putting on because the finish itself has a has a color to it that's especially true that i found in the cry or the minwax spar urethane it has <clears throat> kind of an amber color excuse me kind of an amber color to it so um i definitely would not uh paint uh or put the finish on over paint when you're using the the helmsman. I would put the helmsman on first and then put the paint on after that. Assuming the paint that you're using is an exterior an exterior paint. In this particular case, this is an interior sign, so it doesn't really matter. So what I like to do is work from the inside out. It's kind of the technique that I use. Understand guys. Well, any of you guys that have been watching for a while know this is not my favorite thing. My wife always loves it when I get to paint because she knows how much I hate it. So it puts a special smile on her face and a warmth in her heart when she knows <laughs> I have to do this. Am I right? You are right. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. So the sew and then this leaf and this leaf are going to be this same color. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that off, off up off camera and then we'll come back and we'll move on to the next color. All right, so we got all of this uh, mustard yellow color done, I guess. Actually, Vicky did the leaves. Golf clap for Vicky. <laughs> um, she just was envious because she, I was having all the fun. Anywho, all right, so next we're gonna do the very, so that's this color. So that's not really a color that I have in the um, in these uh, acrylics. So we're gonna use our wheel. We got that at Joann's, that's pretty Yeah, cool. we got this at Joann's, same place we got the acrylics actually. And we're, we're saying that this color kind of comes close to matching okay, that. you gotta quit bopping around there. Hold it up so I can see it. There you go. That's pretty cool. So this is, uh, this is pretty much the color that we're kind of looking for on the very, and then these two leaves. So it says we need to mix the orange and the red. So uh, I don't know exactly how much. So here we have brilliant red. And we're just going to throw. Not too much. You think I should? Is that too much? Well, I don't know. Always we'll find out. So that's uh, mm. I like that. It's a pretty color. I'm gonna go with it. I like it. Even even if it doesn't match that other exactly, I like the color. So I'm gonna go with it. I think you need to mix those chunkies up though. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, see. Okay, not 
too thin, it's going to dry out. Well, you're making me mix crazy. Mix it. Stop mixing. Mix. Stop mix. <laughs> oh. All right. So. The joys of married life. I'm so good at this. Do you see that? I did it first mix. Oh, I like that color. See? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I made her jelly, so she had to actually... Oh Grab the gosh, paintbrush. I can't and... you said jelly. Yeah, I'm hip. I'm with it. Sophia would be so proud. That's our granddaughter. So I <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm watching you and I got your top of your head. <laughs> oh, see? Ah, that's funny. All right. Am I going to have to cut that part Probably. out? Probably. Yeah. See, you want to paint, you know. You missed done. a spot. I'm not done yet. Where did I miss a spot? Right there. Right? Mm -hmm. See, it's kind of drying a little bit lighter. Yeah. Now, you put two coats on here, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. So, we may have to go back and put a second coat, but it brushes on pretty easily. And it dries really fast. Uh-oh. See, I just got some orange in there. There's a toothpick over there. Oh, you got some too. Well, I'll fix that. The brush. All right. Okay, so. We're not All right, you guys got the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. We're gonna let it dry, and we'll do the leaves on the sides too. And then we'll be back and move on to the next color. All right, so now we are going to paint that top leaf. Let me see that one. Hmm. And it's there. And this is my hand. Those are Vicky's hands. Vicky is painting. So my guilt trip finally worked <laughs> after all this years, all these years. All these years? All these years, my guilt trip finally worked. So my, I just make him think it did. He was driving me crazy. My plan for world domination is one step closer. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, a little bit sh different shade of orange. Pretty much, uh, it's pretty close to the other. Well, but it's that just picture a, is pretty close too. Yeah, it is actually. So. Um, She's got better looking hands than I do. She could be a hand model. Yeah, for old lady stuff. So this is the only item that's going to be that color, right? Yeah. 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 So then we'll move on to the, the, the Thanksgiving brown. brown. Yeah, the brown on the Thanksgiving, which is kind of... And I think we have pretty close to that, that color in a solid color. The wind is blowing like crazy out here today. It is blowing. Arizona fall winds. Yeah, it's not real cold, but it's windy. Except we have no leaves to blow off the trees. So we just blow cactus spines off the cactus, yeah. I guess. Yeah, you have to be careful. <laughs> Actually, the fact is, there's tons of trees in Arizona, yeah, just not where we're at. Here, yeah. yeah, just not too many where we're at but where we were up in the hills the other day there's lots oh, of trees man, it's gorgeous. up in the, the wallapai mountains up outside and of Canada. we were in sedona the other day too. yeah sedona was amazing yep okay so we'll All finish right. this so, off camera <laughs> we'll finish this off camera since you just covered where you're painting there anyway well, i your... had to get to it yeah that's all right that's all right Still okay in it. so um We'll come back and we'll start painting the big letters. All right, we are moving on. Mickey's still painting. She hasn't given up on it yet. So um, now we're using the, burnt the color sienna. burnt sienna. And we think that that's a pretty good and match. It's more, I don't know. I'm liking that. I love that. 
we're trying to match that color right there of the thankful. And I'm not sure, I can't really tell in, in the little screen here this on the camera. Like, I don't know what, chocolate pudding. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the way that's covering. We're gonna use a different brush. Okay. It's thick like chocolate pudding. Is it? You, you, you're saying it's like a different consistency than the Almost, others? Almost, yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know that I've ever used that tube before. I don't think it's dried out. It's just kind of weird. We're gonna add. Is it too thick? I don't know. Maybe put some water in it. We're gonna try it. Yeah, it's just see how it's like blobby. Like weird. Well, the camera pretty. can't see that because I'm <laughs> I'm focused in too hard. But I don't. I don't. So I don't really like that. Now that that one of the drawbacks with this these water based acrylics, what I found is that they they don't flow near as well as the one shot paints. No. Um, of course, you know the one shot is uh, ten times more expensive than than these, and these actually work pretty well. But I I definitely you know if you're asking me my opinion on this as these as compared to the one shot i'll take the one shot every day but we didn't have the colors in the one shot and um so that's why we decided to go this with this is going to have to be two coats it's no problem since you're painting <laughs> <laughs> we'll actually go three coats if we have to yeah right since you're painting <laughs> that looks like it's even now like a little it bit all. better. Don't like Back it. to the other brush. Mm -hmm. It does seem to be a different consistency. Anyway, guys, we're gonna we're gonna keep fighting with this thing, and we'll get it uh, we'll get it right. Now it seems real streaky, huh? Yeah. We'll get the base coat down and then put a second coat on after that. All right, guys, we'll be right back. We'll have this all done, hopefully. <laughs> be right back. <laughs> okay, where are we at? Down here? Or, yeah, uh, down we're there. down here. Okay, so um, Vicki did a terrific job on uh, the leaves and... Hey, I think that's the only thing I painted, or maybe I might have painted. You did the V? I, think. I mean, I might have painted that, but Vicky did this. That that brown you saw in the last scene wasn't covering very very well, but Vicky actually did three coats on here just because the brush marks were showing and it looked really splotchy. It looked I don't yucky. know. Yeah, it was very very thin. Anyway, so we're gonna. We're gonna mix what color? We're gonna mix the yellow. <laughs> I, don't know, I got Vicky laughing before the camera went on. You need more than that. Mix more so that it's. So I call this yellow. Uh, how do we say it politically correct? Baby poop Comes yellow. out of the back end of a baby. Let's say. <laughs> I probably said it a different way. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did. But anyway, um, oh so we I kind of played around earlier with mixing these two colors. To try and come up with this color here on that border, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Let's see how if it. I can keep the camera on there this time. Uh, I think more white. I think. You just can't stop. Vicky's on a roll. Uh, wow, that's a lot of white. I know, I don't know but you that might be to, too much. No, but it's not. We shouldn't have this on camera since we're. Well. See? Ooh, it looks like that is going to be about right. Oh, you have a little paint. You might add a little water to it. That's really thick. Well, I think it's okay. It's pretty creamy. It's not lumpy, it's creamy. Okay. Well, I, would, I wouldn't eat it, but it, it does look creamy. Be chunky. Be chunky. 
All right. Uh, so is that a good enough color, you think? Yeah, I think so. You think that's a good enough match to that? I think it sets off everything pretty good. All right. Let's see what it looks like. See? What? You got just yeah, a glob. There was a lot. There was a big, I, I kind of wiped it off on here. and then Big glob. Yeah. Well, I'll use just the tip. See, it's just enough to give it a little color. Really? I don't think it's dark enough. You don't think so? You want to add a little bit more of the other? That, that just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look dark enough to me. What do you think? I like it, but hey, what do I know? Good. Don't go crazy now. That's your job. You're spreading it all over your neck and making Well, I'm trying to get it on the camera because they're, I don't think they're getting able, able to see what's going on there. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was, I just about stuck it right in your eye, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a little better. Yeah, I think that's a little closer to what we want. God, you wasted a lot of paint. How did I waste it? It's right there. It's not like it, you know. It's going to dry. Uh, you. You mixed it's that It's going to drive me crazy. You know that. You're going to have to get over here and take over for me. Yes. <laughs> you do it on purpose, don't you? <laughs> Does that bother you? Is that a problem? <laughs> that glob Stop right there, it. is that a problem? <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, you guys, he's driving me nuts. Get out of there. Get, get. Uh, all right, I, I tried. Gosh, how did I ever paint my signs before you came home to help me? I don't know. I don't know how it ever happened. I don't know either, but you know what? It's all better now. <laughs> You're not a control freak at all. Come on, I'm trying to film this thing. You're putting your hand right in front of it. What's up with that? Oh, you had the camera all messed up too. You wow. You weren't zoomed in. Yeah, looks like we've swapped spots here. <laughs> so what I've decided to do, guys, we're gonna we're gonna finish up this painting, and then uh, it's actually evening right now. We're gonna let it dry all night long, and then I'm gonna throw some clear on top of the paint. I've done tested it out to make sure that that crystal clear um, will go over the paint. But I really I like a gloss. Um, on stuff I do, so... Gosh, I've heard that before somewhere. What? A gloss? Oh, I don't know. You've said it 14 times. But that's anyway, um, so I'm going to um, I'm gonna put one or two coats of gloss over the top of this uh, once the paint's all dry. So we'll do that uh, tomorrow morning, and then we'll uh, film the, the final scene with the gloss and see what it looks like. Everything. And by then, hopefully, we'll decide how it's going to be, how we're going to do our free giveaway here. Yeah, that's right. I guess we, we need to we figure that out. We need to figure that out. We need to figure that out. But, yeah, so um, we'll announce on the next scene when we come back and do the gloss. I think, I think, I think we'll do, like, a live, just kind of a quick live thing and have people chime in. And I like doing those. Yeah, yeah I think I we'll do it. Way. Do a YouTube live. Um, just uh, we'll we'll tell you the the time and date uh, that we'll do the YouTube live, and um, then we'll do a YouTube live, and we'll just pick a random number or something. That's kind of what we talked about. Or yeah, or have I don't know, like I do the other stuff. The um, it, when we're on that when we do the LTS. The LTS uh, giveaway. Just have thing. somebody. Say, I'll think of a word or something. And okay. Anyway. Anyway, we'll let you know uh, on the next scene. But in the meantime, we're going to uh, we're going to finish this up. Or actually, I'm going to go in and have some <laughs> dinner, and Vicky's going to finish this up. 
And uh, then we'll see you back here in a minute. Bye. Bye. Okay, we are done. And we, I've got like, uh, I think two or three coats. I'll probably put one or two more coats, but it's, uh, it's pretty much all done. I'm really happy with the way it came out. The pastel uh, or the, oh, what are they? The water-based acrylics actually look pretty good on there. Um, it's still, the water-based acrylics aren't my favorite. I still like the, the one shot much better, but, um, but I'm really happy with uh, being able to use the water-based acrylics. They're easy to kind of use and... Um, uh, and Inexpensive there. Yeah, and they're, they're really cheap as compared to the one shot. So really happy with it. So we are gonna give this thing away. So here's the details on the giveaway, guys. This Friday, coming up, uh, November 9th, 8 p.m. our time, which right now, because of daylight savings time just happened, is mountain time. So 8, 8 p.m. mountain time, we're gonna do a YouTube live broadcast. And then Vicky's gonna figure out, I don't know, it's gonna be a word or a number or whatever, but we'll do a live broadcast where we give this thing away live uh, on that YouTube um, YouTube live broadcast. So remember, nine, uh, the 9th, November 9th, that's a Friday, 8 p.m. our time, which is, is um, mountain time. If you're in Pacific, it's seven o'clock because everybody else falls back. We don't. Um, if you're East, if you're on the East Coast, I think it'll be 10 o'clock p.m. We kind of figured that was a time where everybody was hopefully going to be available. So uh, we're, I really had fun with this one. It was a little bit different. Um, and thank you to my lovely assistant. She did most of the painting on here. Did a great job. And um, so we will be back on Wednesday. We've got, uh, I got so much kind of in the, uh, kind of in the works, huh? In the hopper. Yeah, we got so much content that I need to get done. Um, so uh, Wednesday is gonna be another demo. I, I believe it's gonna be another demo. And then Friday, possibly another demo or maybe a extenuing, uh, extending the Wednesday demo. I'm not sure yet. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the love. Um, we just, we're so grateful that, thankful that you guys take your time and watch us. We have so much fun doing what we're doing. We're glad that we're helping people out there. And you guys, as always, if you have any questions, please email me directly. I'm not doing a lot of communication through Facebook lately. Almost all of the communication because of a time, uh, uh, time crunches and stuff. Um, if you can email me directly, please, eric at makeawoodsign.com for Vicky, Vicky with Dave Signs at gmail.com. And uh, we've got more coming, guys. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Make it a great week. Get out there and get it done. Remember, Christmas is uh, pretty close now. So I hope you guys are doing well. This Friday. Yep. We'll see you guys on Wednesday, and then we'll see you again on Friday. We'll have a video in the morning on Friday. And then we'll be doing the live broadcast Friday evening. So, yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, guys, thanks again, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.